everyone and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how to make loaded french fries with steak and shrimp to get started here i have one ribeye steak and i have about half pound of large shrimp i'll be using some seasoned salt black pepper garlic powder onion powder and old bay seasoning so first things first we'll start by seasoning the shrimp we'll add some garlic powder onion powder black pepper and some old bay seasoning then we'll combine the rest of the seasonings which is garlic powder onion powder black pepper and seasoned salt we will be using that to season the steak we will season the steak generously on both sides and we will set both aside to marinate for about 30 minutes and I did have some seasonings left over, which I'll be using in my cheese sauce. You know, I don't want to waste anything. So whatever is left, I'll add it to my cheese sauce. So here in my favorite pot, I did add some oil. And now I will add my steak. And I will cook the steak for about 4 minutes on each side. I like my steak medium, but if you like yours well done, you can cook it a bit longer. We'll cook it for about 4 minutes, then we'll give it a flip and cook it for another 4 minutes. So what we'll do here is flip the steaks on the side and hold it down there for a few seconds. We want to render that fat that's on there you know we want to cook it away a little bit you don't want that you know raw fat just sitting at the side there so we'll hold it down for a few seconds and what we'll do next is add some garlic butter here guys i made my own garlic butter by adding butter garlic and parsley and let me tell you this makes the steak so moist and juicy and delicious it's like you can cut it with a butter knife. I'm telling you guys, you have to try it. Now you wanna tilt your skillet and coat the steak with that delicious garlic butter. And that's it. We let this rest while we get a shrimp going. So in the same pot, we will now add our shrimp and we'll cook our shrimp for about four to five minutes. You don't wanna overcook your shrimp as soon as it turns orange pinkish. That's how you know they're done. And then we'll go in with some more garlic butter. And that's it, guys. Super simple and easy. We'll set this aside while we get our cheese sauce and our fries ready. So before I get my cheese sauce going, I will get started on my fries. I'm using frozen french fries. If you want, you can use homemade, but I'm using this and I'll be placing them in my air fryer and we will cook them on the fry setting. I think it's about 400 degrees for 12 minutes. Yeah, that's it, we'll do that. And then I'll show you guys how to make the cheese sauce. So for the cheese sauce, you'll need a few simple ingredients. Here I have sharp cheddar and gouda cheese, half and half milk and cream, butter, flour, and my leftover seasoning. To a medium sized pot, I will now add the butter and will allow it to melt. Next, we'll add the flour, give it a good mix and we'll let it go for about 2-3 to three minutes. You want to cook away that rawness first before we add our half and half milk and cream. And guys, don't be alarmed if you see the butter starts to clump up like this. All you have to do is get a whisk, start adding your milk, and it will all, you know, dissolve and become nice and smooth. Just keep whisking until everything becomes nice and smooth, and we will let it come up to a simmer and allow the flour to thicken up. Once your sauce thickens up, we will begin to add the cheese a little at a time and keep whisking until it dissolves. Once it dissolves, we'll add our seasoning just to add a bit of taste and flavor to the sauce. And we will let it go for about two minutes on low heat. Then our sauce will be ready. So 
So once everything is done, we can begin to assemble our loaded fries. First, we'll begin to put down some of our fries. I'm so sorry for the lighting, guys. It, one of my lights went out. So, you know, it might look kind of weird because I'm using a different light. But, um, you know, we'll get through it. So we'll put down our fries first. And then we'll go in with a little bit of our sauce. Now, I will not go crazy with the sauce right now because I want to get a nice picture, a nice thumbnail. And I don't want it to look messy, you know? So I'll go light on the sauce for now. But once we're ready to eat this, you know, I will <laughs> drown it in that sauce. Yes. So after we've added our sauce, we'll go in with our steak. And then we'll begin to add our shrimp on the steak. Then we'll go in with some more steak. Then some more shrimp. And we'll add the sauce and I have a few toppings I'll be adding and you guys will see it will be amazing so now I'll go in with some more of that cheese sauce not too much remember we don't want to overshadow the other ingredients here we want to show the steak the shrimp everything we must get in that shot so we'll not go crazy with the sauce and all that stuff right now then we will add some sour cream i love sour cream inside of my loaded fries but if you don't like it you can leave it out and we'll also add some toppings which is some fresh chopped tomatoes some red onions and jalapeno peppers and that's it guys it is very very simple and i know you guys will enjoy it when you try it And here you have it guys, my delicious loaded french fries with steak and shrimp. We really enjoyed this. It was absolutely amazing and I hope you guys give the recipe a try. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy!